Good evening. Welcome to the January 13th, 2020 Architectural and Historic Review Board meeting. Um, we have uh, two items on the agenda, uh, item number one and two, which I'm going to postpone uh, so we can go through some some uh, sh short uh, items. We want to, Dan, what do we have? Do we have everyone here that we want yeah, to get 35 through? For side. So I'm going to come back to agenda item one and two uh, in a few minutes when we get yeah, these others off the... Okay. Sure. Yeah. So uh, let's... Um, Item number four, this is 10 Cedar Street. You just introduce yourself and uh, tell us. So this sign is going above the building. Yes. Uh, Dan, do you have the overall facade length? And do you, can you tell us if it's if the 168 inches is compliant? We did. It's it's, it's on here. It's just written. Um, where is it? Have it. We checked it for code compliance. If you checked it and it's and the length is compliant, then yeah, okay. Yeah, no issues. Uh, I'd like to make a motion. We approve this sign. Uh, this application is submitted. Do I have a second? Yeah, your seconds. Unanimous. Okay, thank you. Good luck. <laughs> Fifty six Sand Rock Avenue, please. You'll have an email you have for me. You'll have your permit tomorrow. I have a you'll have it You're just doing siding and and I saw that there's a door spec in here. Is that just the front door? Uh the door side door. Same doors. Same and the siding. There's a there's kind of a, a rendering in the packet. Um, oh yeah, materials. Would you? I mean. Okay. So you're really so you're there's like the funky pattern here. Yeah. You're just. Yeah. Great. Do you guys have any um, deciding in the door? Okay. Um, I think it's pretty straightforward. Any neighbors uh, here tonight? No. Any comments, gentlemen? No. Uh, uh, I'd like to make a motion we approve the uh, application at 56 Sandrock. Do I have a second? Yeah, no, your second. It's unanimous. Okay, thank you. Good luck. Item number six is 29 Hamilton Street. Distracting, if not a problem. Yeah. Um, this is in the garage, or this is well, on the street side. Yes. 
so the signs also kind of give direction that you have to go through the garage. Oh, okay. um, you know, entrance this way because people constantly walk up to those classroom doors. So this is on the only on the lower part of the glass? Um, it's in the middle. Well, it depends on the door. So, like, this is a this this door just has lower. So, number one just has lower. Number two, this is, this is the full window. So, this will be this will no longer be transparent. Right. Number three is in the center. This is on this is on the sidewalk on on the, sidewalk on the street. So, this is going to have open, open, and then three, four, and two, and five. Yeah. Three is in the middle. It's good. Now, <coughs> this is around the side of the building, yeah, number four. It's yeah, it's the same sign band, and then the door has the full thing here. Five. Five. That, number five. Yeah, and then this is, again, a band in the center. Number six this is similar to number four, where the door is built in, and then it's the band in the center again. Fine. Yeah. Um, any uh, anyone here? No. Um, okay. This looks good to us. Um, uh, I'd like to make a motion. We approve this as submitted. Do I have a second? Second. Paul seconds. Yeah, you're re unanimous. Okay. Voted. Four. Four eyes. Thank you. Um, thank you for being patient. Uh, back to agenda item number one, 41 Cedar Street. Okay, we, uh, you, you brought samples the first time, which we, okay. If anything has changed, we'll look at them. Otherwise, I think we, we have a good, uh, got a good impression the first time. Um, all of these are easy to 
feedback, or we're going to look at the option of doing a cross fiber in the concrete. So they get cross fiber in the concrete corn. We'll just put out, price it out yeah. uh, both ways. Um, we're using a, a Glenberry brick, and that brick has some special sill details that we're using. It also has, if you look closely at our details, it has a nice rounded um, brick piece that we're using to make the transition from the brick to the uh, flat panel detail that we have in the windows. The windows are a black clad marble window for the residential units, and then we're using a charcoal colored um, conier. Uh, storefront um, for all the storefront glass. Um, our details show also the lower points, which is the best room up Also, the crown moldings, um, um, bed molding. Uh, we have an Italian group, a Zach soffit, and a uh, uh, crown lower frame board and E. Um, we are creating these pilasters that are going to have this little groove in them um, above and below our light fixture. It's not showing here, but this light fixture has a curve to it. And we had that on the previous slide and then, uh, that we showed you, uh, I think, at the last meeting, <coughs> meeting before. We also did sections through the entries. This is the entry to the uh, residential units, and we're showing the lower cornice detail. Uh, the wrapping uh, of the uh, two freeze boards around the entry, and then we move through the exact uh, ceiling before you get to the entry. Uh, this is the second brick blaster, which is showing the particular blaster track. And then uh, the, the jogging, uh, the, the subtle jogging of the brick is the detail that we are showing. The, the, the last pages are not part of the search uh, the plans that uh, we have, right? The package is not part of the package? It's not part of the package. Yeah. 
This yes, the, that page. This was on uh, two two submissions. Oh. Yeah. I brought it up because I was talking about the entire facade, and we were uh, also just wanted to know we chose the color of the frame um, to, so that everything's very subtle. You know, we don't want this to be a quiet little glass fan type canopy. <clears throat> no. Well, the only the, the, the reason I'm asking you is because whatever is said is approved by us has to be coherent. That's, that's what I'm saying. I don't know if you still have the old drawings, old packages. I do, but um, some of these drawings are complement. Yeah. updates to some of the other drawings. Um, I think we can work out that yeah. logistical issue pretty set. simply. Yeah, you can submit a, a, a full set for. Oh, yeah, coordinated <laughs> set. That is. No, but we had we had asked not to have a full set every time, so that we could have some you know, sort of sensible and convenient packet uh, to carry around. Please. Um, first of all, I think it's it's a very handsome building. I don't think it's. I think uh, I've been driving back and forth and walking the block, and I think it's it's a it's a very elegant way to end up the street up to the church, and it's going to create a, a, some <coughs> excuse me, order that is needed. I think it's a. I'm okay with the scale. I don't think it's going to overwhelm the church. So, on that regard, I'm fine. Um, I still believe that you know a little play with the massing will improve, but that's a not not for me to opine. It's just that's uh, it's a personal uh, comment. Uh, on the other, you know, there was another comment on the tree. I saw the only one tree that if we can do something about it, but look, we've just been through, uh, uh, I would say, massacre of trees in Gould Park, so if our town can deal with trees, I'm not going to force you to deal with trees either. So, uh, and uh, just well, uh, I think ask. Also we, we can't. We can't. Here. It's not our purpose. Yes. I mean, not that we wouldn't like to, it's just. It's just uh, as, a, as a neighbor. We like to see that tree uh, care for that's all. Uh, in terms of the overall detailing, I get a sense of where it is going, and I like it. It's fine. Uh, the the first floor, all the facade of the commercial strip uh, of uh, stores and entrances is it's, it's fine on, on the street on Cedar. Uh, I'm not so convinced about the treatments of the. I like the brick. The brick is fine. The, the, the proportions of the windows, the rhythm, everything looks correct. <coughs> what I think it's not quite there is the details of the brick, or the, how the brick, and the re I can show you where my concern is, which I don't understand a little bit, but I don't, I, I don't have a doubt that it will be uh, properly detailed, but if I keep this to my contractor, I'm afraid that they're going to do things that you might not be, and I would like you to be in control and not the other way around. That's what I'm. I'd just like to respond to that. Yes. We focus more on profiles rather than the technical details behind those profiles. We have worked to do on that. Okay. And I think we have to be careful of course. Of course. Uh, I'm sure. Uh, I'm just yeah. saying that uh, I would like to, because it's cedar and because it's an important addition to the uh, streetscape. And it's because it's, it's, it's going to be seen by everybody. I would like to ask you if you can put an extra care in documenting what you would like to see so it's properly built and not to the, uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. And I can show you a couple of details and that I don't understand it quite well, but in general terms, uh, for example, the, the, uh, I understand the railing, but how it attached to the roof is not quite there. Or, or the details of coordinate the details between one page to the other, or um, uh, we, we 
we will be detailing these things. That's, that's the what ARB, we did not think that was expected, but we know we still need to do that. Okay, so all I'm saying I is I am... Um, I long, long lasting, durable, and, you know, great. Thanks. It's the problem of the wall section, right? If you <laughs> if you show a wall section, then you we we look at the wall section. <laughs> but no, that, that, that I understand that, and um, um, we we are um, we know your work, and we are um, we know that you put care into it, and so if we have confidence that we will. Yeah, I think it's a beautiful building, and I, and I <clears throat> trust you as an architect, and I think that uh, as long as uh, uh, you have input and, and some say in, in the finishing details, as you year said, um, uh, I think it's going to be a nice addition, and uh, looking forward to it. When you start, uh, uh, if the approvals go well, when you're expecting to start construction, um, I would say, like, middle of this year, we're waiting for financing, obviously. Sure. And, uh, we have one tenant that uh, we may be able to get out by the end of the year or so, before the end of the year. Okay. But uh, everything going well, we'd like to start this year. That's the idea. Yeah, I think, I, I think it's uh, architecturally. Is it possible to have a follow-up? Look, I don't have a, pr a problem with following up with the process and understanding that on my end, at least, uh, I will not uh, uh, try to slow down the process. But I can point you what the details I would like to see more developed. You know, and have some some sort of say. You know, that's all. Yeah. When? Huh? When you want to show those? No, I can show it now. Because you know, yeah, I can show you the areas that I'm concerned. Yeah. No, even whenever we do a project, we have design phase construction. Phase. I know, I know, I, I know how it is. But we, yeah, I know what it is. Well, but, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think it's probably related to that. Yeah. No, all I'm saying is, you know, when you see this, this soldier course or the, uh, let's go to the bigger detail because it's like it screens, uh, it's developed, right? Uh, obviously, the uh, the Marvin uh, windows are not from the Marvin catalog, I think. Uh, it's it's a we schematic. Are. Again, yes. Yeah, schematic. Good. So that's that. Second is the uh, the issue of these panels. Uh, which Thinness, is the, yeah. it's too thin, it's, it's, it's lame. Perhaps we shouldn't have shown the back of it. Um, you know, and you know, this, and, yeah. and then maybe the proportion of this is a two inches over four floors, might, maybe what you want to see, I'm not sure, maybe it needs to be a five inch, I don't know. We're working on a lot of examples or, before we made up our minds. I understand. Yeah. I know, and I appreciate that. Yeah. And I understand that this is a schematic design towards a more developed, but when we see a detail this scale. You guys <laughs> Yes. And also, you know, for example, if you, you know, yeah. if we, you know, care to draw the soldier course, well, it's at least it's, if it's properly, you know, the sizes. So, you know, in our minds, if we don't have A or B approval in a way, it's not like yet, it's like we're going to have to design. And we really, then we really put our, mind, our hat on and look at the details very precisely. Fair so enough. We felt kind of mixed about this. We know, because I know when I was chair of the A or B in Hastings, we were asking for this level of detail really because we needed documentation so that later on we had something to show in case there was a change. So we're in the same I think that's why you're doing this, right? Yeah. So we will follow up with the construction okay. details. Any neighbors here? Members of the public? I don't know. No, they got satisfied. We're happy with what you're showing. 
You can't say that. I have some uh, few sort of general comments. Um, I I agree with the other board members. It, it there you know there's a careful, thoughtful building that you've presented to us, and um, I appreciate that. Um, I I think that there are some some other concerns that I have that I have spoken to you about over the past couple of months. Um, <clears throat> um, you know, I am, I am worried about uh, some of the kind of broad strokes of the project in some respects. Um, and I, I made an attempt to try to uh, help you look at that earlier on. Um, but I think it should just be mentioned one last time for the record. Uh, I, I think that the underground parking is could present a very large problem for you, just for you um, from a construction perspective, to the village from a time, noise, and disruption uh, perspective. You know, I, I'd hate to see six months of chopping out rock, what that would do uh, just to quality of life in the village downtown. Um, uh, you know, given that it is uh, a slope site, I, I think that you could put more massing at the back, higher up, um, avoid that problem. Um, I realize that's not the project in front of us, so I, um, um, I'm not going to uh, delve too much more into that, but I think it should be said. Um, aside from that, I, I share some of the questions about some detailing. Um, I, I understand your position. You don't want to bring us a you know, full CD set at a point where you're, we're still discussing uh, some of these issues. So um, I, I trust you'll get some of those to us and resolve them. Uh, uh, I, I think in terms of detailing and massing, uh, in terms of detailing, I'm, I'm, I'm satisfied. Materials, I'm satisfied. I think the question of massing. So, um, I, if we don't have any neighbors here, um, uh, Dan, what what um, what what step in the process are we are we currently? We would just have to write a recommendation letter to the board of trustees. Okay. Um, so this is a this is an application, and we do approve it, and then we send that to we, the board of trustees. We make the recommendation, and then they they'll approve it. Um, And and then the, well, the they'll either deny it or approve yeah, yeah, it. Sure. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> the the question that the IAR had regarding some uh, additional details will will this uh, following if, uh, let's assume that the board of trustees did approve where would that would this project come back to us uh, for or that at no. that point it doesn't okay they're just. Um, Technically, uh, let's say that uh, we have this as a record set. Um, one month and one month down the road, the project changed. So, for some, you know, adjustments sure. because of the design development or construction documents, I think it would be a different set from this. So, we would like to review it. And I, I, I I'm, ass I'm assuming that it's going to be only for the better. I know, but I don't want to create a circular process oh, yeah, where they go to the board of trustees and they come back to us again. And I would like, uh, um, I know, it's, it's, it's procedural. That's all. It's substance. And the only thing I want to re re reiterate is the first comment I, uh, I, uh, I was making about the massing, it was exactly in the, uh, with, aligned with uh, Michael's comment about um, taking advantage of the site. Rather than, and I think you, you you'll benefit for better views and and sloping <coughs> massing. But again, it's, if you want to excavate rock, by all means.
No, I know, I know, I know. It's a little, you know. But if you notice, just a, you know, as a side comment, uh, there is an interesting pattern uh, that happens on that streetscape on the on the on the side of your where the building is because of the sloping back there is like volumes that they show up like uh, and then it's a kind of there is a baseline of three three stories and in the back you see these elements coming up it's interesting I think it will be worth to take advantage if you want you did show that as an option we actually went through that option with the planning board yeah, but if, if if you say that you know you need it, I don't know, I don't, know, I don't remember how many units, but let's say that the the first floor in the back, instead of looking at the uh, um, retaining wall, you'll be looking at the river. You'll be looking at the river. <laughs> uh, next time you have a big project, uh, we request the joint meeting. <laughs> you know, we really didn't want to be. I'm just. We are just. No, we understand. Yeah. Uh, we show them a lot of options. We are we are reading of course. So it's <laughs> like yeah. yeah, I mean, what what I would like to be able to do uh, uh, actually, let's just take a minute. Let me just let, I just want to talk to Dan for a second uh, to get this out. This is only constructive comments. Uh, we'll take what you presented. You know, let's say that this is an important street. So more more effort is will be required. Hmm? I think we I think we have welcome to uh, contribute your. So we were just discussing. Final approval yeah. <clears throat> by the board without having to go back to the board of trustees. Yeah. They can delegate. Yeah, yeah, that's what, that's what I was just discussing. The, the it, yeah, okay. Make sense. Make, make, yeah. Make, yeah. That brick, te brick detailing, at the very least in the downtown, can be delegated to the board of the architectural review. So, um, and I assume you can also note in your um, uh, your statement to the Board of Trustees the thing that I think some of the neighbors and others of us have thought that some acknowledgement in plant in a shift of volume in part of the building to kind of the it being a concluding you know a concluding part of the stream of built space, some acknowledgement that it's an end condition in the form would be appropriate as opposed to, you know, a slice of a, a very nice contextual building, which I think was a great building from the 1930s. But, you know, I, I think it's, um, you know, it's certainly a part, but I think some acknowledgement is an end condition, which I'm not seeing in the building. <clears throat> there isn't, I don't think, anything that would, that would stop you from putting a, that recommendation. And it would obviously be up to the board and subject to council's approval, but there isn't a reason, I don't think, why the board couldn't request a, a, a subsequent review with details. I think that, I don't know for sure, but uh, we can find out. That, so just, that could be in the letter. Yeah, I'll just uh, I want I wanted to try to find a solution that we don't have to have them come back again for right. now and then have to go back to you. So um, I'm gonna I'll make that part of the uh, 
the memo to you, recommendation to you. Um, anyway. I guess we said everything we had to say, right? Yeah. Um, okay, I'd like to make a uh, uh, recommendation that we uh, approve this. Uh, do I have a second? All seconds? Yeah, here. Notes. Okay, so we are going to uh, include some uh, question of detailing as a um, as an item that will come back to us, but not require an additional approval uh, at this board and and at the board of trustees. So you won't have a subsequent circular process. You, you can you can proceed in uh, sequence, linear sequence, uh, without having to come back. But you would submit those as part of the uh, approval for the board of trustees. But should it, shouldn't there be a letter drafted and that letter voted on? Is that proper? Like the plan for have the, the, the letter drafted and they voted on that letter. Actually, the resolution. Like, like a resolution. It's, it's, it's kind of, yeah, like a resolution of recommendation if that's the proper. There are already things. Well, the. We we, sure we don't we don't we don't function that way. We okay. we so what we do here is uh, we draft a letter, uh, we approve it internally, and then we issue that to the board of trustees. No, that that's and that step will include, for example, the thing I just mentioned about the uh, having someone review uh, some construction details regarding the brick, um, and our our thoughts on the project and if any of it should be uh, looked at in more detail by them. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. 100 Main Street.
exactly what we would be doing, how we'd be doing it, mm -hmm. and how we were fitting in with uh, other requirements. So I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, the, the main thing is we're taking the siding off carefully. We're going to restore it back, which can be restored. Uh, we've actually picked the sequence that the first wall that it would get applied to is this north wall, then the wall that faces the outside, then the wall that faces the courtyard, and the left, the wall that faces the neighbor. Uh, we're anticipating by the time which we're hoping we can actually do the north and the east. Uh, but then the idea would be to have siding mill exactly to match what that is. Um, we were able to talk to condens and they don't have a problem with it. Um, so I think that, sh that should work out fairly well. Are, are, will they mill a single piece in the same way? They'll, or will they mill they'll do it as a double piece. So it's done exactly as, you know, they'll actually match that yeah. detail. I'm hoping we don't need that much of a um, you know, And is, is it in, is a lot is a lot of it in poor condition? Is it is it rot? Honestly, is it? I mean, we're not going to know really until we get it off the building and we can get the paint off of it. Um, the I think a lot of it probably is reusable. So it's not that old, so it's um, something that I think uh, it should be viable to you know, kind of clean it up. It's not that old. No, it was installed in 1935. <laughs> this was installed in 1935. <laughs> I know it wasn't milled after after 19. No, it first was milled in 1912, and it was continued to be milled into the 40s. Hmm. And this we, we found all the paperwork at the town at the town for the, the building permit for this building. No, I, I, I looked at it, it but the material. Okay, well, anyway, we don't need to do you have a, do you have an objection that we match the siding perfectly and do I, that? I no. Wait, I just I don't want to get off course here. I just wanted I just asked a question. I I, I um, just go, go ahead. Just okay. doesn't. So um, we're hoping that a lot of it is. I mean, it's not from the 1500s. Okay. So well, it, we're hoping that a lot of it is restorable and will be able to be reused. We've done it on buildings that are in the late 1700s. So, so you're not, it's not like you looked at this and you think most of it's damaged or any, that's not the reason for this <laughs> note. It's just that you, you're going to, you know, you're going to pull some of it off and it's not going to be viable. You're going to have to replace it. And so you have a exactly. strategy for that. That's fine. That's what I, that, yeah. but in general, it's in, I mean, I've looked at the building a few times. It looks, I mean, I have, it, yeah, it looks okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I agree. Um, these are the, the details on the front building. Um, we did bring the roof around to tie this together, but we didn't have it flat on it. Because the only thing that sticks out from the face of this is the gutter itself. Um, we uh, suggested the that we move the windows to the corner. What we did was we detailed those windows inset so that the trim that's actually in around those windows is the uh, stained mahogany. So you'll have the gray siding on the building, and you'll have uh, the same look of the door uh, that faces the courtyard, which is uh, mahogany. Um, and the, the uh, windows are all a uh, iron work, which is a dark tone, which I think will work fairly well. I have to say so you can take a look at it. Um, I don't know if there's that much else to really go into detail on. Um, these were just those notes. Uh, blow it up if you wanted to go over any of them. These are the uh, notes for the interpretation of our tax credits. Um, and this is uh, the list of what we're doing. The only thing that we're really doing that changes the integrity of the existing structure is the, the engineers that we've talked to say they don't see any way that we make this work unless after we split the siding and the roofing off, we actually put uh, five drums open. They're thinking that will give it the stability and the shear that makes this um, kind of work through. So, um, I don't know if you have any questions about any of that. You want to see the colors? Uh, yeah. Did you take us through all those sheets? Yeah. Okay. Well, I need more to detail the floor plans. We could look at those. No, no, that's okay. We, we've looked at those already. Uh, yeah, sure. Take us through the whole presentation.
was it? Because it was kind of unclear before. What I did is I separated the uh, list so that there's the list that's for the main building and a list that's for the garage. Then this out the way. Okay, this is the siding color, not texture, that we're proposing on the uh, the front building, um, and this is done as a shiplap. Uh, we didn't want to do a clabbered, particularly with Hardy Plank, but we have a nice clabbered building. I thought it would just look. Off. So I thought it was better to do the ship lap on it so the two feel that there's a slight difference. Um, and the color is this aged pewter. There was another color we considered, which was the night gray. Um, but I think this is actually closer to what we're thinking of for the building, the back building. I think this is the one. Yeah. So this is the color we're looking for the back building. And I actually think it's nicer. That kind of separation, I think, is better than that one. But a year can tell me what he likes. <laughs> Here's the mahogany. So if you look at the mahogany next to that, it's a yeah. yeah, I think it's got a warmth in there. There's a little bit of brown in the buildings uh, are separated by 40 feet. So yeah, and then we've got. The slate gray, which is the standing seam roof. Um, the charcoal gray, which on, is the, on both buildings. Yeah, on both buildings. Do the same roof on both buildings. I think it's going to look. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That's so, um, and then that's the flashing and the uh, gutters and leaders. And this is, the, I mean, this is no big deal. This is the white for the windows that are in the stucco. And then for the windows that are not in the stucco. It's the iron ore. And you can ask me the iron ore what, but it is that beautiful palette. Colors, um, I forget where I'm using them, but uh, the, the iron mountain is on the trim on the uh, main building. Which is not much, it's just those corners. You know, I didn't think this is a place that would all of a sudden want to see white from on the corners also against all the dark. So that we're talking about this that's mahogany. This is this so this is all mahogany here? Yeah. The surround of the window is mahogany. That's real. This is thick. Well it's no it's not it's mahogany. It's only mahogany stain the stain you can see. So it's actually it's a stain color on it, which we find yeah. Yeah. has a nice freshness. You can taste it. It tastes kind of mahogany. So sorry, yeah, I can't see. Well, actually, maybe I can see the window detail. It's not window detail. Yeah. Yeah. So what we're doing? No, but that's we're framing the window in with two by fours. Against the two by six. Yeah, but the thing I just you have this called out is Azek. Yeah, it, well that's it, that I will that is a mistake on that which is that people too quick with these machines where they push buttons for things, so it is not Azek. Okay, so so when I look at this, yeah, like if I'm gonna try to you know I'm wrapping the corner here, right? Yep. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna have a mahogany. This is mahogany. I don't have another yep. color, and then. Then this window frame, the thin, yep. this is this thin thing I just drew. This very right. low profile. Just the, 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 inch in, the five quarter five of the uh, wrap on the window is the iron ore, and then the. Oh, so not even. So it's just the. This is this is clad or no? That's clad. So that's. So this iron is ore. clad and iron ore, and then yep. you have this. That's iron ore. Okay, so that's what is that? Uh, Two uh, inches about, or something like that. Two inches, yeah. And then you have then this now this is mahogany. That's almost three inches and that's yeah. mahogany. And then this this piece also, this yep. kind of casing exactly. piece. Uh -huh. Okay. 
if you want to see what that looks like. No, I get it. I, I just yeah. so I, basically now. all these notes out of my head. Right. Please make note of that then. The AZAC around the windows is mahogany. It's the mahogany AZAC. On the main building. Yep. Are you refurbishing the front building, the stucco, or? We're gonna, I, I don't see any way that we make this look good unless we do that. No. So we're, mm -hmm. we're, all it's gonna be is a single coat. Okay. And because the stucco is not perfect shape, what I find is, since it's a real stucco, is instead of doing another cementious material on it, which then, you know, uh, telegraphs all the cracks, what we do is just the finish goes on which is this product, which is a uh, polymer. And so that has expansion capacities, so it doesn't end up cracking and it seals it and the color doesn't fade and it looks fake forever. And you get put in the cornice along the top. Yeah, that's all, all, the whole cornice is completely different. It's this piece um, that you see there with all those little fakey um, aluminum frame pieces behind it instead of a nice big solid piece of stone. Actually, it came out fairly well on uh, two Ashford Avenue. That, that, that's what we used was the metal, and it actually looks pretty good. In many cases, there on that building, I thought the metal ended up looking better than the actual cast down. Uh, one question in there, and we lost um, the other two people, which would have made it a three to two potentially vote. The question is whether we're turning the corner. Yeah, I was going to get yeah. I see you're turning the corner. Well, we, we, we're turning the corner with a note on it, so that if the preference was not to have it, then we won't. But if the pre preference is that we do have it, we won't. We was kind of mixed last time. I think the vote was two to two. What did I say? And, and, remember? <laughs> well, I don't know yes, who was the two yes. and who was the two. Yes. And what we did is we said, I, I, was I, I keep the yes. And we said, uh, you know, when Dipty came, she could be cast the vote. But, you know, I didn't want to not have it on and then say you want it, but you have it on and no vote on it that said, no, we don't want it. So, Wrapping is I think it, I think it's good. I think it's okay. We'll see if they want to uh, start over on it and where we go next. I think that's next. The neighbors here? No, that, it's not required. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is not the glass cover. Glass cover is complete, but this is the color of the back. Okay. And it is a Just frosted a glass enclosure, so you don't see any bolts. Yeah. Okay. And they're all, you know, it's like low voltage or low wattage. So it's just really to give you some light. It, not the ones on the front. Those exist. These this is there. on the front of the garage. And then what we did on the porch is we just have down lights on the porch so you don't it's see just here. Yeah, that's really so good. Four. We just figured that's, that's as much light as you want. And what I'm trying to do is to get it controlled is have uh, a, you know, what happened at 66, where all of a sudden they have somebody who detailed all this stuff, which was not us, saying it has to be 12 foot candles or something per square foot, so that when you stand in the parking lot 12 here, foot candles for so, a parking lot? Yeah. So when you're, one. Yeah, I know. So when you're standing here in the parking Maybe lot. Maybe two. When you're standing here in the parking lot, you can see in the garage the 66 meters. One for emergency, two for at least People who were a little older. Anybody in particular you're talking yeah. about? I'm Steve, okay. I, Steve's referring to me. No, no, no I, I, I had everything fixed, but I know. I'm yeah, I've noticed you're not wearing the glasses. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm done. And it was successful? Oh, yeah, no, it's more than successful. Well, what, I, you keep talking about iron ore, but there's, there's, there's iron mountain. I don't know what that no, is. No, iron, iron mountain is a paint. 
Oh, okay. That's uh, the Iron Mountain is the Benjamin Moore uh, 2134. Oh, okay, that's paint. Yeah. It is a it is a sort of warm gray palette, which is which, yeah. is, which oh. is actually just remember nice. I have to look at it, so you guys got to make it. Yeah. So this is the iron ore paint, and the iron ore. This is the window, uh -huh. which I think is much better than what we normally would end up getting. You know, it's a terracotta terracotta or something. Yeah, like no, that. it's reasonable. Yeah. yeah, it should be good. Okay, thank you. Um, we didn't get any comments from the other two board members, so nothing, nothing in that respect. Um, I think our next step is to recommend this to the board trustees. Okay. Yeah, we're going to talk about this. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so our, our next step here is to uh, make our recommendation to the Board of Trustees. You know, uh, I, you know, all of the comments that you made about the, the uh, barn uh, tax credit noted, let's, we'll see how things pan out in the next year or two regarding the downtown historic district, and yeah. if that then becomes a viability for the owner. Um, that would be nice. Uh, yeah, it would. Um, I'd like to make a motion we uh, approve this project uh, as submitted with the, with the uh, minor change to the window trim and casing detail that it be mahogany. Do I have a second? Any your second? All in favor? Thank you. Unanimous. Thank you. Uh, we have one more on the agenda. Yeah, so we don't want to stay for 25 minutes. Like, like, you can be excited. It's actually unexciting. It's as unexciting as anything I think I've ever seen. In fact, I don't even know why we're here. Actually, it was, we were noticing on that, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I understand. It's <laughs> both. <laughs> we don't have the same uh, Larry. I don't know. Well, it's not a subject that the board. Yeah, I, I, know. I scratch my head in a certain way, and then Larry. Go and we are going to have a meeting tomorrow night. We're going to have our reorganizational meeting tomorrow night. Yeah. We'll see what happens. Yeah. 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 Um, so we're starting at 35,000? Yes, please. 35 Riverside Place. Um, yeah, we don't have any PowerPoint or that or anything. Very simple. This is a project that we actually have a fairly reasonable addition on that um, we already approved. And yeah. then they decided they did not want to spend the money on doing that. So what they want to do at this point is change windows to the back corner, change the windows on the front window where I ignored the year before, add the same porch on the side, but the whole addition is done. You know, there's two kind of odd things happening here. Um, Permission will go. Yeah. Has, has that ever happened? Yes. At this board? Not by you guys. Oh. Somebody went to the Board of okay. Trustees and complained oh. about my approaching the board and inhabiting it. Well, you, you, if you could bring them, I mean, maybe this might fix you up. I don't know. Oh, yeah. The, these just, what, what matters is that you on record. Um, right. No, they said that I was intentionally approaching the board to intimidate you. Well, I, I, I've heard you do that in the parking lot, but I've never heard you do that <laughs> here. Yeah. Plus, we, we jack our chairs up really fast. So okay. um, um, yeah, I've intimidated you in the parking lot. Uh, uh, there's, yeah. two, there's two kind of funny things. One, there is this... Thing. At first, I thought this was a drawing error, but then I re revisited the plan, and I see it's a bump out for a fireplace. Yeah. Uh, why can't you... You're building this. This is new. I assume yes. that's with a hatch, yeah, new construction. Why? I mean, where's where's this even going? This isn't. It's not like there's a chimney out here. Agreed. Why not just push it in, in line? With One the or the house? other. Either push it in or push it out and have it be an event that happens on the house. Well, but exactly. Don't have it, it should be, be one thing or thing. the other. So, so at this point, given the budget constraint, I would assume that stonework and all the other things are going to be a problem, and yep. so you're going to. And then, is this a this is a working yeah, fireplace? It's a working gas fire uh, fireplace that has some kind of a. So non you know, nonsensical fan. You know, put the exhaust gases. Just, where just it just comes right out the side and spews into the yard and adds to our. So you're going to have a you're going to have a um, 
You're gonna have something here. No, it's just it's like uh, it's like those things you see on the high efficiency uh, heating units. It's like a plastic thing that. Um, it's a four inch. Yeah. It's a four inch fan. That's it. Just right on the okay. side of the house. Okay. Because it, it's not there's not a high BTU combustion. Four it's inches it's like it's having a stove. Velocity. Okay. Okay. It's like you know, and the, and the really really attractive ones that cost the most look exactly like you took your stove and recessed it into your wall and so you can watch the blue flames look just like you're ready to cook something. They're really, really attractive. Um, and, all right, well, that's, that, that's yep. resolved. So, yep. so I just drew a 12 by 2, so you're going to have some little thing like that here on the Right. Um, you know, the, there's something going on here with this covered front door in that even in the drawing it looks like it's stuck on in a funny way. I mean, I, first there's the, the, you know, the, the way these three are relating are a little off, and maybe this is just a diagram, yep. and that's fine. But, um... Was it a little bit too no, tall? It, it's, the, it's, yeah, the proportions are off, it just, it feels like something got stuck on here that doesn't belong here. Yep. So, um, and I, I, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Yeah, I mean, when you look at it from the side, it's also yeah. It just look. I think what it. You, I you think just, you, you just want to keep water off out of your. Off when you come to the door, I think door. what's happened on this is that we had the porch there. It was part of something else. Right. And, and that's what the scale yeah, is different. Now it doesn't make sense at that height. It should definitely drop down, uh, probably as close almost a foot. You know, I say the the bottom of the beam is it should be around eight foot. Um, something like that. So I think that should drop down. I think that would make that much better. Um, I think it also could maybe be about a foot and a half um, shallower so that it didn't stick out so much because I don't think we really need it to be that yeah. deep and I think that'll feel more uh, balanced with the house. Was this the project where he was going to sit outside and watch the traffic? That the, that's the guy? I think so. We were talking about that. Okay. Yeah. And there was a, like something that went, yeah, we were doing something with this window to make it aligned. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, there was a whole, a whole bunch of stuff here. It's not there anymore. Yeah, I, I would just, I would just make this what it is, which is just a little, a nice covered, covered area that you don't stand in the door. rain when you're on the lock. Yeah, the as opposed Perfect. to a piece of porch that got, yeah. or the other piece got lopped off. Yeah. Uh, I think the other thing you had mentioned at one point was those uh, shutters on the front, of, uh, if they could be dealt with. <laughs> so I just, uh, just give you Larry's sign. Except when you drive down Riverside Place, which you know only happens every so often. Every so often. Right. I can't believe I didn't know which house you were talking about when you were talking about it, but I realized that that house makes some first Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't should just go. Uh, this should go to like four. I, I, so I guess we're going to continue this one. Just I don't know if you okay. want to. No problem. And if you want to keep it simple and just, um, well, you're, you you may be here in any case. I was going to say. We'll see. I mean, um, you can. This is a simple, and we can probably. Yeah. Do you know if we were we referred to the AHRB for 156? Do you know? I don't know. Okay, because I think we should be. You're in front of the planning board. We're in front of the planning board and the zoning board and the conservation advisory board and the tree commission and I think we're also before the affordable housing task force and uh, the beautification committee. Once the beautification committee votes on it, we can. So we will make those changes. I think that improves it. Okay. I think that's good. Thank you. Uh, let's make a motion to continue this to the next meeting. Do I have a second? Do I have seconds? All in favor? We're unanimous. Thank you. Make a motion to adjourn tonight's meeting. I'll second.